First Peter 4 and 17. First Peter 4 and 17. Stand. Get your papers and pens. You will want to take notes this morning. I'm not going to be before you long. If the law permits, hit it and quit it. First Peter 4 and 17. If I had it my way, I would be in church all day. Because that's my thing. That's what gave me the most joy. That was what brings me the most love. That's what brings peace to my soul. Peace to my spirit. Is being in the house of God. Amen. Praising the Lord and hearing the word of God. Amen. Thank you, Jesus. First Peter 4 and 17. Everybody got it? Amen. For the time is come that judgment must begin at the house of God. Amen. I'm going to say it again. For the time is come that judgment must begin at the house of God. Amen. I'm going to say it again. For the time is come that judgment must begin at the house of God. Amen. 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 Shall the end be of them that obey not the gospel of God? Come on, come on. Amen. Amen. If I was to leave a theme of thought in your mind today, it would be for the time is come. Yes. Explanation point yes. in quotation. Yes. For the time is come. Quotation marks is for because it's coming directly from God. Mm -hmm. For the time has come. He's not waiting till the end of the day. No, he's, he's telling you right now, for the time has come. Amen. I want you to listen to God very closely. Just because we know the Lord Amen. and put on a suit or a Sunday go meeting dress. And we read the scriptures and we sing the songs and we shout all day Amen. does not mean we are totally right with God. Amen. 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 Come on, come come on. on with it. We live in a world today that is very quick to pass judgment on others yes. without looking at themselves first. Amen. We are quick to judge because people based on their own race, based it on their income level, or they base it where they live, and even they base it on their past. We find it very easy to judge others based on our own standard of measure. Yeah. But if we honestly measure ourselves against God's standards, uh -huh. against the word of God, We'll see how low we really are. Yeah. Come on, Amen. Come on, Bishop. You see, there are two categories of church-related people. Come on. There are saints and there are church folks. Come on. Saints identify themselves with Christ, while church folks identify themselves with the devil, with the world. Saints have the characteristics of love, peace, joy, long-suffering, mercy, compassion, and forgiveness. Right. Reminisce the fruit of the Spirit. That's right. Church folks have the characteristics of animosity, jealousy, vindictiveness, and criticism of others. Always talking about somebody. Always playing games. How you going to tear down somebody's trip? Always playing games. How you not going to be in somebody's trip? Always playing games. How you not going to be on that program? Always playing games. How you not going to support that trip? Always playing games. How you not going to support that leadership? Always playing games. How you not going to support one another? But God is tired of it. God is tired of your judgment. God is tired of your vindictiveness. God is tired of your criticism. 
sinner. God, it's time to your animosity. Hallelujah. For it is time for judgment to begin at the house of God. Hallelujah. Yeah. Hallelujah. Yes, yes, Hallelujah. Yes. Hallelujah. As you have heard from the beginning, he commands that you walk in love. Listen to the words when it's gone out of my mouth. Yes. Listen to when they're preaching the word eat the fish and throw away the bones you may not like that preacher but take it whatever he's saying from the word of God line it up with the word of God if he's preaching from the word of God and preaching the truth eat the fish and throw away the bones We got to learn how to love one another. We got to learn how to respect one another. We can't always have the lotus love. The lotus love is always playing games and can commit to nothing. We can't commit to one another because we have to be saved, filled with the precious Holy Ghost. If you can't commit to the church, if you can't commit to God, you don't have no Holy Ghost. You shall have power. Power to do what? Power to live right. Power to love right. Power to forgive one another. Power to have peace. Power to pray out peace. Power to share peace. Power to have forgiveness. Hallelujah. What you say, preacher? Hallelujah. First, it begins at the house of God. about the judgment. Hallelujah. I'm talking about the judgment. Hallelujah. There is only one lawgiver and only one judge. James 4 and 12. James 4 and 12. There is only one lawgiver and one judge. James 4th chapter and the 12th verse. Hallelujah, somebody. Hallelujah, somebody. Hallelujah, somebody. Get Exodus. Get Exodus. 19th chapter and the 5th verse. Get Exodus. 19th chapter and the 5th verse. For the word of God says, Now therefore, if you will obey my voice, hallelujah, indeed, and keep my covenant, then shall you be a peculiar treasure unto me above all people, for the earth is mine. Hallelujah. If you're on this earth, everything that's in this earth belongs to you. Why? Because if you love God, and hallelujah, and if you obey, hallelujah, the Lord, and if you obey the covenant, well, what is his covenant? I'm talking about the word of God. I'm talking about something that's teaching you right from wrong. If you respect and honor the covenant, if you walk in love, if you let God walk him and down in you, hallelujah, indeed, you shall be his people and everything in the earth belongs to God so everything in the earth belongs to you Amen. if you are God's people All right. Come on, Bishop. I don't know who are you Amen. sometimes your coat hallelujah doesn't display what you are Amen. and even if you take off your coat hallelujah sometimes it don't display who you are hallelujah hallelujah Thank you, Jesus. Turn to 1 Peter 2 and 9. 1 Peter 2 and 9. 1 Peter 2 and 9. But ye are chosen generation. 1 Peter 2 and 9. But ye are chosen generation. A royal priesthood. 
a holy nation, a peculiar people that you should throw forth the praises of him who has, who has brought you out of darkness into the marvelous light. You no more serve darkness. You are children of the light. The light can't, the darkness can't distinguish the light. Hallelujah, you can't outshine God's people. We stick out like a sore thumb. Hallelujah. You should praise the Lord because you are a chosen generation. You're not here by accident. Yeah. You are here for God's purposes. You are here to fulfill God's purposes. You're on a mission. You that don't know why you're here. You're on a mission. Say yes. Say yes. If you don't even realize that you have a job to do. And if you feel Say it! 
2 and 8. 1 Peter 2 and 8. Hallelujah. And a stone of stumbling. You're like a stone of stumbling. Wow. Hallelujah. And a rock of offense. Yeah. You've caught between a rock and a high place. Mm -hmm. You haven't made up in your mind yet that you're through with stumbling. But you want everybody to crumble with you. You want all the rocks. You want an avalanche in the church. 